Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making Instant Pot Beef Barbacoa. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So my name is Kristen Hills and I am the second oldest sister out of, I guess, all of the sisters. And usually every Sunday we share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. So today I'm making a delicious beef barbacoa. So in case you guys didn't hear, the last few videos I've been talking about our Instant Pot cookbook. It is now available for pre-order, so if you want an amazing cookbook, it will come out in November, but you can pre-order it right now. All right, guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. All right, so this recipe, even though it looks like there are a lot of ingredients, there's actually a lot of spices. So this, it really is so simple, but it tastes amazing with everything put together. So let's get started. We're going to push the saute button and we're gonna wait till this is all heated up. It will say hot when it's ready to go and then we're gonna continue on. All right, so now that it's hot, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil just to the bottom of your pot. Now once that's kind of heated up, the olive oil's all on the bottom of your pot, we're gonna add some beef. So this is a chuck roast that we've cut up into pieces and we're going to just brown it on both sides just quickly. Okay, so once it's browned on one side, then try your best to just flip it over. You're gonna try and brown it at least on two sides. Okay, so once they're all just a little bit browned, I mean, they're not gonna be all the way cooked through and they're not gonna be browned on every side, but just a little bit, then it's time to move on. So we're gonna just put everything else in. So we're gonna start with a half a can, or I guess a half a cup of red enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna do half a can, just to make it easy. Then we're gonna add two cans of these green chilies. You can leave the liquid in there. Okay, now these are called chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now they're really hot. If you guys like the heat, you can add a few chopped up, but because my kids don't love the heat, I just chopped up one and I'm just gonna just dump it in. Just to give it a little bit of spice and a little bit of flavor. Okay, now we're going to the spices. Okay, we're gonna dump in two tablespoons of lime juice. Now you can freshly squeeze it or just use the bottle. Whatever you like, whatever you prefer. One way or the other is not wrong. Then you're gonna have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That gives it a good taste. And then two tablespoons of brown sugar. Just dump that all in. Mix that around a little bit. Oh, it's already smelling so good. All right, so then we're gonna add two teaspoons of liquid smoke. Um, yeah, I love liquid smoke. That's one of my favorite things. So I would suggest not leaving the liquid smoke out. And then just one tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever you call it, that's what it is. One tablespoon of that. I'm gonna mix that in just a little bit too. Okay, now it's to the spices. Now, if you don't have every single one of these spices, it will still taste amazing. So, don't be intimidated by all these. If you have them, great, use them all. I suggest that. All right, so then we're gonna add one tablespoon of cumin. Just dump that in. And then one tablespoon of ground oregano. If you just have normal oregano, that's fine too. I kinda like it. Ground. All right, next we're gonna do one teaspoon of onion powder. Ooh, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, next we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just dump that in real quick. Now don't worry, if <laughs> you're not writing all these down frantically, down below in the description I'll put all the ingredients there for you, just to make it easy. And then last, we have a fourth teaspoon of garlic cloves. Now, I know that sounds funny, but it tastes so good in this. So a fourth teaspoon garlic cloves, then a fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, we're gonna just mix this all together. Now there is enough liquid in here right now that it will pressurize. If you're a little nervous and if you get the burn notice a lot, you can always add about a half a cup more of liquid. But I personally think there's enough in here that we should be okay. 
All right, then we're also just gonna add two bay leaves just right on top while it cooks. Okay, let's get this lid on. All right, as you put your lid on, make sure it will do a little jingle so that means you're doing it right. You're gonna make sure that little knob is on sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna push the cancel because we're on saute right now and we don't wanna be on that anymore. So we're gonna push the cancel button. Then we're gonna push pressure cook. Because we've cut it up into small pieces and we've, we've sauteed it a little bit, you only have to cook it for 30 minutes. So we're just gonna go up with the plus button to 30. So after you're done setting the timer, you're gonna wait for just a little beep. Once it beeps, you can just walk away. All right, so it's all done cooking. Now I let it pretty much release on its own for a little bit, for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn the little knob to venting or push the button to let all of the pressure out. Oh, perfect. Okay, once all the pressure's out, you can go ahead and lift up your lid. Oh man, it smells so good. And just kind of mix it around. Now you can do a lot of different things with this. You can serve it over rice, you can put it in a tortilla. I personally like to eat it in a tortilla because yes, I love tortillas. So we're just gonna put a little bit in here. You can add cheese, you can add sour cream. Um, just make sure you kind of drain the juice out if you're doing a tortilla because it'll be soggy if you don't. Um, the one thing I do love is adding a little bit of cilantro, even just a little bit of lime, just right on top. Fold it up and you can eat it. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Now if you want more easy Instant Pot recipes, you can check them out right there and I will see you guys next time. See ya, bye.